Hello, today we will solve this problem. Determine the amplitude, frequency, wavelength, speed and direction of the component waves whose superposition produce this result. This result is from the superposition of two waves. We will determine the amplitude, frequency, wavelength, speed and direction of the component waves. Solution Let's suppose we have two waves, Y1 and Y2 and both the waves are traveling in opposite direction. One is in this direction and the second wave is in this direction. The wave equation for y1 is y1 is equal to ym sine kx minus omega t where the wave equation for the second wave is y2 is equal to ym sine kx plus omega t. This first one is minus omega t and the second one is plus omega t because they both have opposite direction. If one is traveling in this direction then the second one is in this direction. That's why one is plus and the other one is minus. This ym is the amplitude. This is the phase and this is the wave vector k. This is the angular frequency and this is the time. After the superposition of these two waves we will get a new wave which will be the sum of y1 and y2 and this y after the superposition will be equal to y1 plus y2. Let's put the value for y1 and y2 in this equation we will get y is equal to ym sin kx minus omega t this is y1 plus ym sin kx plus omega t this is the second wave. This ym amplitude is common in these two terms. Taking ym common from this equation, we will have y is equal to ym amplitude into sine kx minus omega t plus sine kx plus omega t. Now according to trigonometry, sine alpha plus sine beta is equal to 2 sine 1 over 2 alpha plus beta into cos 1 over 2 alpha minus beta. Here in this equation, consider this whole term as alpha and this whole term as beta. Now we have sin alpha and sin beta and this sin alpha plus sin beta is equal to 2 sin 1 over 2 into kx minus omega t is this 2 sin 1 over 2 sin 1 over 2 alpha kx minus omega t is alpha plus kx plus omega t alpha plus beta and this is the beta term. Now cos 1 over 2 alpha kx minus omega t minus into beta kx plus omega t. Now this minus omega t and this plus omega t will cancel out with each other and we will be left with 1 over 2 into 2 kx. 1 over 2 into 2 kx. And this equation the kx will cancel out with minus kx because when we multiply this minus into this term this min this kx will become minus kx and this plus omega t will become minus omega t. Now this plus kx minus kx will cancel out with each other and we will have cos 1 over 2 into minus 2 omega t. Now this 2 will cancel out with this 2 and this 2 will cancel with this two and we will have a new equation y is equal to y m into 2 sin k x cos omega t. Now cos minus x is equal to cos of x so we do not need to write this minus sign with omega t. And now this is the final equation y is equal to 2 y m sin k x cos omega t after the superposition of y1 and y2. We will solve this equation to determine the amplitude, frequency, wavelength, speed and direction of the component waves. Now let's compare this equation which we have derived from the superposition of two waves with the given equation which is y is equal to 3.0 cm sin pi x by 10 cm cos 50 pi t. Rearranging this equation we will get y is equal to 3.0 cm sin pi by 10 cm into x cos 50 pi t. Solving for amplitude. Comparing this amplitude 2ym with 3 cm we will have 2ym is equal to 3.0 cm. 
Dividing both sides with 2, we will get the amplitude ym is equal to 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 cm. Now, comparing for angular frequency, comparing this cos omega t with cos 50 pi t, we will have omega is equal to 50 pi t. And this is the angular frequency. Converting this angular frequency with the linear frequency, we will have, we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f and this f is equal to omega by 2 pi. Putting the value for omega in this equation, we will get the linear frequency f is equal to 25 hertz. Now let's solve for the wavelength and wave vector. Comparing this sine kx with this sine pi by 10 x, we will get k is equal to pi by 10 and this k is the wave vector and we know that the wave vector k is equal to 2 pi by lambda solving this equation for lambda we will get lambda is equal to 2 pi by k putting the value for k in this equation we will get the value of lambda as 20 centimeter you see 2 pi by pi by 10 this pi will cancel with this pi and this 2 10 will multiply with 2 we will be left with 20 centimeter and this is the wavelength of the component wave. Speed of the wave. Now here we will calculate the speed of the component waves. We know that the speed is equal to lambda divided by time period t. And we also know that the frequency is equal to 1 over t. Now putting the value of this time, time period in this equation, we will have v is equal to lambda f. Lambda is the wavelength and f is the frequency. And we know that lambda is equal to 20 centimeter and frequency f is equal to 25 hertz. Multiplying 20 with 25, we will have 500 centimeter per second. And this is the speed of the component waves, which is 500 centimeter per second. And the direction is obviously they both are in the opposite direction. One is traveling in that direction and the second one is traveling in this direction. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Easy edu for more videos. Thank you.